What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Sneakerhead213. Before I move forward, as always, hit the like button, subscribe, comment down below after this video. Let me know what you think. Follow me at Empresario317 on Instagram, and let's get started. So today we have a review on the Nike Air Jordan 1 Zoom Fearless. This was a not really so limited pair. It wasn't hard to get. Um, people had mixed feelings about it. I'll tell you my feelings after the review. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. So this is the official colorway that Nike has. If it could focus, come on, phone, okay. Multicolor slash varsity red, black, size nine. This is a size nine pair, 175 retail price. It is currently pending. Um, I'm waiting on seller to get back at me because as you can see, unfortunately, guys, UPS did mess up my box. Look at this, guys. UPS did this stuff. Look at that. It's ridiculous. This one doesn't have a stamp on the lid. Um, also, something I noticed that was pretty cool is the paper. It says, limits like fears are often just an illusion, and it keeps saying that over and over. Pretty cool. Nothing else besides a card that I'll show you here in just a second. I wanted to get the box out of the way because I didn't want to have to struggle because like I told you, UPS messed my box up so bad that it's hard to kind of open the lid. It's a little tacky. So here we go. There it is. The Jordan card says limits like fears are often just an illusion. Um, and there it is like that. Um, there's that. Bear with me guys, I'm still trying to learn this new camera on my phone. Haven't had this phone for long, I think for about a month. I've had it for a month. And so I'm trying to get used to it. So there is the shoes. These are the Nike Air Jordan 1 Zoom Fearless. The primary thing and the primary um, source of all the hype on this shoe is honestly guys, just the hype about the upper the upper has a 3m reflective you know effect if you hold it up to the light you can't really see it but at night when you take a picture on with your flash or when the light hits it it's 3m multicolor so it has like a iridescent reflect effect if that makes sense as you can see there it has the zoom technology there Give me one second, there it is. And then, that's pretty much just it. It has this number code that I couldn't find what it was, so let me know in the comments down below. I couldn't find anything online about what this was. Um, maybe it's code for the Zoom Air technology that these soles have. Um, it did come with this fear hang tag. On the back it says, limits like fears are often just an illusion. Which is a pretty, 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 you know, memorable little quote. Um, zoom air tag there. The tongue, it's split in half. Like the homage to home type of, you know, Air Jordan tongue. Toe box there. This just feels like, you know, synthetic leather, to be honest. It really feels like it looks. Very dull, not pleasant to touch, really. Um... And I bet these shoes crease really bad. Um, but yeah, there's a shoe right there. Bear with me, guys. I know this isn't the best video recording, but I'm trying to get back to the rhythm of things. Um, so yeah, there's the shoe. The Wings logo there in black. You know, it's all monotone, chrome, or monochromatic, iridescent color. But like I said, it comes to life when you hit it with the, you know, lights at night with your flash. The, the outsole is a semi-translucent icy outsole with Z's all over the, you know, bottom of the shoe. And it says Z, Z, all that. All that just is, you know, complementing the Air Zoom insole. It's letting you know, hey, you know, this is Air Zoom and uh, Air Zoom technology on the insole, which we will get to see right now, actually. So there's a shoe tree. Let's pull the laces out. If I can get it out, bear with me, guys. And then there it is. You can see Zoom Air Nike right there. So 
There's that, and it's actually pretty soft and, you know, very comfortable and appealing to the touch. So that's good, you know. Most Air Jordans, you know, after a while, you know, they don't feel as comfortable as obviously the Notorious Boost or any other runner shoes that Nike has. Um, like, you know, just the new ones they have nowadays with the Air Maxes and other running shoes. Here's the other shoe. This one comes with two laces, um, green and red. Honestly, I just think they threw these in because the holidays, you know, green and red are a Christmas holiday, you know, color. The only thing I can think of why they threw the red ones in is because the outsole is kind of red. It's not really a red. It's like a watermelon red. And then this one is red too so it's like i guess you could wear those but i, th I would wear it with the red to be honest just to not make it so monochromatic but the green is where it kind of throws me off it's like eh, it makes me think they just wanted to throw an extra pair of laces there's a zoom technology there and so but yeah let me know what you guys think what do you guys think about these are these a cop or did you have your eye on them did you pass a lot of people i assume now let me know what you think a lot of people i think are just saving up especially the younger group of kids, probably for the Bread 11s. Um, stay tuned for that. I hope to have a lot of pairs of those. You guys know on my last videos, I pretty go, I pretty much go all out. Um, sometimes I don't get so lucky. The raffles have been pretty competitive nowadays, um, even the app reservations. So we'll see if I hit. If I hit, you'll see a review on it. Follow me on, at Instagram on uh, Impresario317. Until then, see you guys soon. Peace.